hey guys welcome back to my channel this is going to be a tutorial of my confirmed routine of how i would retouch the hair of a client remember if you have been following my relaxer routine you would remember that in the last video where i retouched my hair myself i tried this technique and i ran into problem because of these um, little twist I am doing at the end of the smaller sections it was a challenge for me to take it down but today I am going to demonstrate on someone else not when I am retouching my hair so that you will see how effective this technique is so this procedure is good it's what I currently is very comfortable with that I use in retouching the hair of my clients so just as we saw from Helicious channel pre-sectioning your hair into the smaller sections that you would usually make while you have already started applying relaxer to your hair is going to save you a lot of time a lot of stress make your application process to be faster just in case the relaxer hurts your client so my client's hair is texturized currently but she wants to really retouch the hair properly completely but we decided not to bother with the tips of the hair and leave it as it is so that it will take a while for the for the tip to get unhealthy and start breaking off after a good trim for now so i had finished pre sectioning the whole head at this point i started off with four sections and each of those four sections i proceeded to pre-section just the way i would when i start applying the relaxer in smaller sections so i used a regular hair cream to breeze around her hairline and her ears this is going to protect her her skin in case the relaxer gets to her and the relaxer we are using is only vital we ended up using one and a half sachet of that i mixed both of them together uh, if you if you are an absolute beginner i have other videos that i will link here that is going to explain like from the the reason why i do everything i do the way i do it and that would be very very necessary for you so the difference between this video and some other ones i have done was that in the past i would if trying to apply this relaxer to my left hand the hair on my left hand i would scoop the relaxer apply it from the new growth of the left hand side and just swoosh it around down to the right hand so from the left to the right but in that process i end up applying relaxer to the scalp in between so if you can apply to the hair on the right and then to the hair on the left do not go from one section to the other because in the process you're going to apply relaxer to the scalp if you look at this technique i am applying the relaxer directly to only her new growth and without even touching her scalp because i am not applying the two sections in one sweep so i apply to the left move over to the right and apply to the right and then when i am done with the middle the inner parts of the section i apply to the perimeter of my quarter of the quarter i just finished working on so i am done with two quarters now we are on the third one I am just applying the relaxer carefully to only her new growth I apply to the left hand side and then apply to the right hand side do not go from left to right in one clean sweep because in that process the relaxer is going to touch the scalp in between the left and the right hand pattern or the hairs there when you are done applying in between then you apply to the perimeter of the hair this has come a long way and changed from my procedure in my previous in my previous videos and if you are someone that is watching this video to learn how to relax her then you should absolutely watch that video if you are watching this video to retouch your own hair 
you should absolutely check out my previous video on how I retouch my hair myself to get more tips. So, moving on, this the part of relaxer application where you have to make sure the hair lies flat is very very necessary. So that is what I am doing here. I am trying to lay the relaxer straight down on the scalp and this is going to help the hair really retouch well. If her hair wasn't text-laxed, I would have applied the hair cream or hair grease or just anything to protect her tips. I would have applied that to her hair. And if you watch my old video, you will come across this and why. But I didn't do that because we didn't mind the relaxer coming up. Her hair is text relaxed, as I said, but she wanted to make it completely relaxed. So, moving forward, now I am trying to achieve like a smooth. This is where one sachet of relaxer finished, and I had to use the half. If you can remember also from the last time I recorded the video, I showed how I used half of the relaxer and mentioned it that if you are using those sachets, even if you cut and open up the sachet of relaxer, once you take the section, the quantity you want, it is perfectly fine to seal the, the opening back and preserve the relaxer it will be good enough for you to use next time as far as you keep it well sealed during storage so this is where i went to get that and used it to apply to the rest of her hair to ensure i achieved a smooth this thing so i know combing the hair has been like an object it has been a topic on its own but as i said in my last video i slightly comb the hair the whole section to help me lay the hair flat down this has to do with what i have found that to work best the consistency of our relaxer and just how i get my best results so i comb just I comb the hair enough to help the sections lie flat. That's all. And I do not comb it all through. I do not pull the cro the comb all through the hair. And but in this instance, I don't mind if it goes up a little bit because, as I said, the hair is relaxed, and we are trying to go completely relaxed. So as you can see from the picture, the hair is already softening. It's becoming relaxed. That is how you can tell when your hair is relaxed, when it's like soft and it is actually unnecessary to over process your hair. Don't stay too long from the time that is given, the 20 minutes including the time of application because you sincerely do not need it. Instead of letting the relaxer hurt you, wash it off after the said number of weeks you retouch your hair again. So. Instead of over processing your hair, be aware. Once it's showing at this point, her hair she's almost good to go because the hair was lying flat, it was already processed, but we had not stayed up to that time and it wasn't hurting her. So remember the way I applied the relaxer, cut short the application time or the amount of time the relaxer will have contact with her scalp. So it is a good thing if you have cost a client or if you're just someone that relax her hot fast, take your time before you start to you detangle your whole hair, section it off into smaller sections, and then when you start to work, it saves you a lot of time. So I have noticed that I usually have unretouched section in the middle of each of these four um sections if i do not take out my time to smooth the middle of each section so the hair looks very relaxed when you have it all braided into four but i have noticed that sometimes the relaxer doesn't get to the middle of the four ponytails enough so that was why i parted it in the middle and flattened it 
moving on we are going to do our deep conditioning process immediately we will be using mega growth deep conditioner i am sorry the name is not showing here but it's by mega growth and i am going to apply this from the actually focusing on the strands of her hair which have just gone through a lot of chemical um, assault <laughs> so this is going to just help set it back onto its recovery process by just showing it some love so i apply the leave-in conditioner and smooth it through her whole hair so remember the hair is just damp we used a neutralizing shampoo it is absolutely important for you to use a neutralizing shampoo when you retouch your hair sometimes we just wash and feel as if because we have spent so much time in the washer then our hair should be clean a neutralizing shampoo is going to let you know for sure once it is no more pink once the lather is white then you know that your your washing process is complete so you can just never assume and if you happen to not have a neutralizing shampoo you better keep washing and rinsing and washing and rinsing that hair because having remnants of relaxer on your hair is going to continue the the processing even after you have washed your hair that remaining little relaxer will keep processing your hair and that causes like a very serious type of breakage so please be aware of that i continue to just slather the home slather the deep condition on her hair getting from the roots to the to the tip of the hair ensuring i work it into the hair until it is touching every single strand there and I just rolled it up to keep it away while I work on the last section. Deep conditioning your hair just immediately after retouching is like the best thing you can do for your hair. But again, if you watched my last video when I was done, I told you guys that I was not going to deep condition that day and I would leave it to the next day. That was because I was carried away while retouching my hair and somehow i just felt slight not really pain 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 but i had slight pains on my scalp and i knew that if i apply this deep conditioner it is going to stain badly like it stings it's not unbearable but if you can avoid it do not over process your hair and if you have if you suspect you might have bonds on your hair you can skip this deep conditioning part until the next day when you do it and wash your hair because the hair is going to be painful. So at this process, I am going to need to comb through the hair to make sure that the, the leave-in conditioner is properly distributed. As you can see, I have used my hands already to finger comb the hair to make sure it is detangled before using the comb this comb is basically just to properly more effectively distribute the leave-in conditioner not no any other reason so as i am combing through it is making sure the leave-in conditioner is applied to every 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 other strand so once we are done with this, I use a polythene bag or you can use a shower bag or a shopping bag to just cover the hair for about 30 minutes. That's just because she didn't go into any dryer. We just wanted to wait. So she covered the hair for 30 minutes and we went ahead to rinse off, properly rinse off the hair. And then you can style avoid heat if you do not necessarily need it thank you so much thank you i appreciate you stopping by have a nice day bye